Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Yep, it's the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. Charlemagne the God, Jess Hilarious, DJ Envy is off. But we got two special guests, man. Tony Lewis Jr. and Tony Lewis Sr. If you've been paying attention to their journey, then you know we're about to have a great conversation. How y'all mm -hmm. brothers doing, man? Amazing, man. Amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Tell, having, tell them the story that you've been telling uh, for all these years, Tony. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Uh, my father went away when I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, got life without parole. Um, and... Uh, you know, that journey lasted 34 years through ty tirelessly uh, fighting for his freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, coming up here five years ago, um, you know, doing stuff all across the country, doing stuff in D.C., uh, but also utilizing our struggle to help, you know, so many other families that was in a similar situation, mm -hmm. uh, being inspiration and hope. And then finally, uh, you know, due to uh, so much advocacy, uh, my brother Pusha T uh, connected me with uh, Brittany K. Barnett, who I call our modern day Harriet Tubman, mm -hmm. um, and her her uh, organization, Buried Alive Project. Yeah, Buried Alive. Shout out to people like Corey Jacobs, who Corey also Jacobs. a part of that. Mm -hmm. Randa um, Jones. Yes, yeah, Randa, Randa Jones. Yeah. Um, and, and and eventually that unlocked um, those gates. And 65 days ago, uh, my father stepped out of federal prison. Mm. Have you have you adjusted yet, my brother? Um, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah it's, it's getting there. Mm. Uh, the technology, that's kind of. Uh, uh, the whole city's changed, gentrification, mm -hmm. yeah. or white people. What happened to black DC? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 God, for real. Dang, man. I think yeah, it's any so. that like context for that though, really, mm -hmm. right? We live in the most gentrified place in America. Yeah. DC? Even five years, yeah, DC. Okay. And five yeah. years ago when I was up here, I talked a bit about that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he left in 1989, 34 mm. years ago. So we when like, it was really chocolate. Yeah, yeah. it really yeah. was. Yeah. And our block, man, like our neighborhood, yeah, our everything has just really changed a lot. So wow. for him to walk walk into that is that's all. Yeah. Like, and where is everybody also who were there before? That's the other question, you mm -hmm. know. So right. sorry, to, but you know, I just think yeah. that's important. You know, I can definitely tell that. Um, He's still like, hold up, what's going on? Because even how, when I walked up to him and spoke to me, like, y'all, you might want to chill out, relax, <laughs> no. don't walk up all happy like <laughs> no. that, you know. But you can give me a hug, and and look, like, you know, he don't even give hugs regular. Word. Yeah, he <laughs> like, no, nah, don't touch too much. Hey. And then he put the two fingers on the back, like tap tap. <laughs> all right, now back hey. off. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, Charles, man, I was telling her, I'm watching her from prison. I know who she was. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hey. Wow, I appreciate no, I was that. A big fan of hers. I love Funny that. As hell. Thank yeah. you. And you're not from Baltimore. Y'all right yeah, there, Baltimore, DC. You right right there. Yeah. 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 You know, you know what too? You know, it's crazy because um, you know, I think uh which what's beautiful about um the DC Baltimore relationship yeah. has really grown. Mm -hmm. Um and it's through people like you. Yeah, um, thank you. People like in it, and really a lot of it got to do with like you know people in the feds. You know when he was locked yeah. locked in yeah. Baltimore. Yeah, dudes like Stokey and D. Watkins. That's like my Absolutely. brothers. Absolutely, shout Florida. out to Stokey. Yeah. Yes, and then my guys. So through that kind of work and trying to help out shared community, mm -hmm. and I think the whole idea of the DMV, um, which DC people weren't necessarily with that from the beginning. Baltimore people weren't with that from mm -hmm. the beginning. But our region, even mm -hmm. down to the seven five seven. You know, yeah. starting to really show that there's a lot of uh, beautiful things coming out of our area. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Let, yeah. Let's talk about the story a little bit, man. Tony, Tony Senior, you served 34 years for your role in uh, one of the largest, most notorious crack cocaine crime rings in, mm -hmm. in, in that region. Like, what what got you into the game? Poverty, mm -hmm. poverty, uh, single parent household. You know, like mm -hmm. the the regular, not regular, but back in my uh, our whole street was basically that's what it was at least on my side of the street right welfare poverty um drugs violence the whole block mm -hmm. that's all you knew that's all you saw mm -hmm. when the, that was the job like you know like people say about getting a job that was the job we knew nothing else mm -hmm. so it was a culture and mm -hmm. uh the poverty is what led to me um uh selling drugs and you know yeah. trying to help my family mother single parent sisters, brothers, uh, friends, and uh, it just grew. And you as a culture, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. you know, that's, so that's, that's what... Uh, Did you ever think it was gonna get that big? Cause y'all, you know, I always say in the 80s, y'all were like early investors in like a tech company or something, mm. you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like y'all were the ones who really, really got it. Yeah, yeah I never uh, I never set forth in it to, to become big or a drug. I really, I was trying to just, Survive, help my family eat. Mom mm -hmm. pay the bills. Mm -hmm. the, you know, lights, gas get cut off from time to time. The welfare check ain't last. You know, like it. You know, so that was that's where I got in, and uh, and you know, like I said, it was a culture, and uh, 
I always worked hard at whatever I did. So selling drugs, I worked hard and I came up and mm -hmm. I worked hard and yeah. it, I seen the money and it kept, you know, wanting to get more and more. But not to glorify it at all, but mm -hmm. back then that was the, the culture. What's the yeah. most you had at one time? Uh, I had a few million in cash. Mm -hmm. Damn! You know, and back then mm -hmm. that was a, that was a lot. You know, I mm -hmm. know now it's a little less, but yeah, got to get a few million in, uh, in my early 20s. Wound up getting arrested at 26. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was it. Yeah. Done. That was it. Until you had now, like, what, two years yeah. of balling? A year well, of balling? No, um, actually more than, because I started like when I was 14. You know, but it's, of course, small stuff, and you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. the big stuff came, you know, later, money wise and everything else. But marijuana from the beginning, and you know, mm -hmm. stuff like you know, small stuff like that. But then I blocked the you know, turn from the marijuana to cocaine. Mm -hmm. right. Not my making, you know, other <laughs> other people making, but Ronald Reagan. Thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Ronald Reagan, the CIA. Yeah, yeah. 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 Couple oh, we million. right there too. Yeah, right? few million. Wow. You see the dome of the yeah. Capitol. We we ten blocks, twelve blocks from the Capitol, where our street is. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's that really is 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 something to that though to say that right. Yeah. And you can stand on our block or any corner in D.C. and the presidential motorcade you might ride by yeah. like in a literal sense. Yeah. Um, that is the backdrop to you know our story. And I grew up on the on that same block. Same mm -hmm. block. In, yeah. a, in, a, in a more even deadlier time because now the we in the heart of the crack epidemic. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When I'm coming up in the '90s, you know what I mean? Uh. And we the murder capital of the United States, and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, it, and it's it's just like complete destruction and just mm -hmm. desperation. Um, and I'm just so happy that I had him from prison. It's crazy too, is when they got locked up, man. You know, uh, being nine years old, mm -hmm. I'm the only child. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? From the court stuff is on the news every day. Then they went to, they was getting preferential treatment at DC jail, so they go to Quantico Marine Base. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you go visit okay. at the cell, like we had the Marine Base, M16s mm -hmm. and Marines. It's not a prison. And I'm that's embedded in my brain to the, to this day. Then right. go shipped out to Long Park, California for the next thirteen years. Right. Um. And I'm just sharing that to talk about the, how that is. And 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 I'm on that block. He three thousand miles away. My mother started to deal with severe mental illness that mm -hmm. she still you know battles to this day. So I lost my both my parents in the way that I had them prior. Mm. Um. And and had to navigate through that yeah. which we just described. But I had him on the oven and that phone and them letters. You know, every day telling me to like make better choices. Right. You know, doing everything that he could from prison to, to ensure that I don't, you right. know what I mean, following them same footsteps. But at the end of the day, I'm growing up in the exact same thing. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. that's why yeah. I wake up feeling like the luckiest man alive. And and even with all of that, you could have still took another turn. What made you not turn to Rick St. Patrick with all this? Yeah, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm nah, saying? Now yeah. listen, you know you when I be watching that joint though, too. like My for real though, fear. all yeah. jokes aside, when I be yeah, because where we come from, it ain't nothing else. Yeah. Just like he, it's nothing else. All my uncles, all his friends, mm -hmm. them people ain't leave with him. They were yeah. still around. And yeah. people people did give me, you know, so much information of like slug. That's what everybody called my like, slug. Do right. something different. You got something different. I had a strong grandmother, my mm -hmm. aunts, you know, and other dudes on the, in the community in general just wanted me to do something different, but nobody could show me how. Mm -hmm. That's where the problem came mm -hmm. in. Do something different, but who who and else would look at no models? Mm -hmm. so that's that's what, yeah, but I was able to, you know, by the grace of God, I was able to kind of, you yeah. know, find my way. But what really saved me, it wasn't linear like that, though, Jess. What happened was okay. when I was about 20, I still ain't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? I don't, you know, uh, but I got a job doing peer-to-peer -peer violence interruption. Like okay. a, a, jo a job, basically, the people closest to the problem that can okay. reach their peers. You know what I mean? I fell in love with the work, and that yeah. saved my life. That's what really... You know what I mean? Put me on this path that I've been yeah. on for the last 23 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As an activist, aside from, you know, getting him out of jail, but being sort of the leading voice, mm -hmm. um, I stand at the intersection of, like, poverty, mm -hmm. mass incarceration, and, 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 and gun violence in my city. Yeah. You know? What was the turning point in, the like, the Free Tony Lewis movement? Like, when did you start seeing hope? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I always felt like, I you know, I was going to make it happen. But the, the biggest turning point, I... Uh, I think when, 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 you know, through the years, like people like my brother Wale, uh, a lot of other guys, mm -hmm. you know, helping and pushing. Push the team. Push, but when Pusha yeah. 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 push oh. introduces us to Brittany Barnett, mm -hmm. okay. right? Um, we had other turns, but when, when, when Pusha makes that intro, mm -hmm. um, and he made the song Coming Home with Long Hill, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. you mentioned his pops in, mm -hmm. that's when uh, her legal prowess, um, and then she connected with a, a law firm. Aaron Fox Schiff in D.C. Yeah, to be Aaron able Fox to Schiff. represent him, mm -hmm. um, I felt hopeful. But look, the first motion uh, <laughs> that 
that that she files though, his judge he gets denied for it though. Mm. You know when mm. I did the, the free Tony Lewis rally, we got like a thousand people out of DC um, at Black big. Lives Matter Plaza, um, and and we filed a motion after that, and that motion get denied. I was like, man, but Britt was like, nah, it's all right. Tone, we going back in, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, we just kept, you know, kept mm -hmm. pushing. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I kept bugging, you know, you and, and everybody else, mm -hmm. like, let me come up, let me talk mm -hmm. about trying to, get, you know, what mm -hmm. I mean, because mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I felt like I've started a family, man. You know, now I grew up, right, but also I got married. I, had, you know, what I'm saying uh, my two daughters, and I ain't want my babies keep visiting no federal prison. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying, yeah. Right. yeah, I grew up like that. You know, and, and then we hadn't seen them since when COVID hit. We we didn't go see what pops since. This three, four, one, three, three, four, years? three years. Yeah, mm -hmm. we ain't even going to visit. Mm -hmm. Cause he was like, nah. He like, nah. I don't even want to see them in here again. Yeah. Like, I'm come, we gonna do. We, I'm gonna see them when I come home. Right. Yeah. Still ain't even though I ain't know. Yeah. There was just good energy and hope, mm -hmm. prayers, you know, and faith in you, son. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we, we, you know, we did. Um, some of my things is important too. That gave me hope. Um, my father, you know, pops, pops. We got different personalities. He's more introverted than I. Um, uh, when he started running this help to run this program called Young Men Incorporated, a guy named mm -hmm. Dominic Henry started. Yeah, Dominic. There was a former uh federal inmate came back in to do this program, mm -hmm. and uh, dude, a uh, Peanut King out of Baltimore was, yeah. Yeah, was co chair with him. Peanut King, yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. but they ran. It was mentor. Just don't know who that is. Yo, chill. Yo, 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 Pop, yeah. can you tell me a little bit about why am I like I you know more? I mean, you can explain it better than yeah. It was it was a, a mentoring, a peer oriented mentoring uh, uh, group. I would say mm -hmm. um, they got the the most pro high profile guys in the prison to mm -hmm. be a part of it. Most of the young men look up to the, the it's sad yeah. to say, but the high, most high, pro yeah. high profile guys in the, in the prison. And uh, so. Uh, I was reluctant at first to take part in it, mm -hmm. really, because uh, I was doing some other things. And I'm always mentoring. I'm doing this on a regular anyway, and it's yeah. consuming because the young guys always want to talk. They mm -hmm. want to bring you all the problems, mm -hmm. and it, the, the girl problems, all the problems. Yeah. I'm like, what, what about my problem, young? <laughs> but I, it's all good. <laughs> all but anyway, right. no, I took I took part, and it really was really was uh, it was really good. It was gratifying. Uh, Son, you got to come in. Council members came in. Yeah, uh, yeah. we we had a rocking and rolling. So Maybe we had a good warden who was. Pro, uh, uh, programming. Sure, you know he was with it, and but you don't uh, always get. Yeah, that you and don't to come get. into federal prison in the ways that I was able to come in and collaborate with my father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that. That that, that, that don't happen in federal. I don't know people out there really understand right. that this does not right. happen. And I also mm -hmm. came in and interviewed him and did a PSA to the young men in our community about putting mayor. the guns down for the for, for, the, the, for mayor. the mayor, right? Yeah, that was so, but when I saw him opening up and saw that like the work that I was doing on the outside. We'd always connected on it, mm -hmm. like helping the, the guys in there, their children right. had, you know, their children out in the community, I would help. But for him to take it by the horns like yeah. that, yeah. it made me go even harder because I'm mm -hmm. like, he he's even growing in a different way that wasn't yeah. really, you know what I'm saying, happening before. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that so that made me keep pushing. Yeah, we can't leave out a big homie up here, Seal Born Weight. He was oh, yeah, a big yeah, part yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, Silk, yeah, yeah. Silk was a big York, part. So. Uh, 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 Timothy Williams, Tiny. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, James Kirby Burks, these good men still in sure. prison mm -hmm. uh, with life sentences that wow. they working every day, no matter what they, the weight they got on their back, they helping these young guys not to come back out and pick these guns back up. That's, mm -hmm. that, that means a lot, man, yeah. but people yeah. don't know. Sure. They don't know, so I, I, I got to uh, try to shed some light on them guys. Yeah, man. What, was the, what was the legislation that actually got the, his sentence overturned? The First Step Act. First Step, first step Act. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Where, and what was a Trump era reform. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, again, back five years ago in the interview, I was in, you know, because I helped advocate for that as well, mm -hmm. right? But at the time, we didn't even think that he would be able to benefit mm -hmm. right. from the first step back. But obviously, other stuff that I benefit, I mean, that I advocated for, mm -hmm. you know, was about not us. It was about the the great and other American families all across this country to benefit. You know what I'm saying? So the first step act, you know, and shout out to 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 you know, Cut Fifty, Dream Core, Van Jones, and, and all that crew, mm -hmm. um, and Hot King Je Jeffries also who introduced the bill. Mm -hmm. But Trump signed it into law. Mm -hmm. um, probably about twenty thousand people have come come home off that reform and, and you know uh, something to, that's really really important to us and what we plan on working on together moving forward yeah. uh, we, we actually got a meeting tomorrow in the same vein is that you know uh, the Biden administration um, Joe, 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 Biden, Joe Biden President Biden listen yeah. up yeah man listen up been very, uh, very, very inactive I think when yeah, it comes on to this issue 
Man, he's the architect of our, our current yeah, system, right? Absolutely. Right, but check this out. So, so infrastructure. You know, these are things he ran on. Infrastructure did that. Computer chips did that. Mm -hmm. Climate change did that. Uh, Gun control to the to the to the extent that he could impact that. With executive right. order, he, yeah. he, for executive order did that. Um, uh, 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 student loan debt to a certain degree did that. Mm -hmm. But this, Mr. Biden, is your issue. This is you. You can do by executive order. You do not need congressional yeah. uh, uh, collaboration to do this. Really, Don't right? No, by executive order, yeah. he has power the clemency the power, power to pin. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. The easiest and the best the way. Right and we need you to do that. We need you to commute sentences. We need you to reunite American families um, mm -hmm. like ours. The joy that we feel in that you know just to be reconnected. Um, Cause so, all of this is on him directly. Oh, it's his. The, the yes. eighty-six mandatory minimum sentencing, the, the eighty-eight 90, crack laws, the ninety-four, 94 crime bills. Right, absolutely. Do it, everything. Joe. Yeah. Like for real. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's and it's, it's his to do, and it's time to do it. I went to a event at the Justice Department. What was that pop about three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, we went. And I and then I say this all like I don't. I'm glad that those thirty-one families have been reunited. But come on, man. Well, Only come thirty-one on. pardons mm -hmm. or, or commutations. Come on, thirty-one. You got thousands of people languishing. Under these uh, hard sentences, man, for crack cocaine and mandatory minimum, and sentences. they've done their time. They done That's their the point. time more than their time, right? So it's not like you not, decide to get out of jail free, free. card. We talking mm -hmm. people that have done twenty five, thirty, thirty five years. Right. They've Come done on. their time more than their time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should have never got that much time. The reason I mentioned. the reason I think Biden should make this a main issue is because number one, he was the architect of all of those bills, but he's admitted to it. Like like when we had him on Breakfast Club, you know. People always get caught up in the you ain't black comment, but there was a moment when I'm talking to him about righting his wrongs of mass incarceration, you know, with, uh, uh, with the 94 crime bill. And he was like, it wasn't the 94 crime bill, it was the 86, 86 mandatory man on citizens. Yeah. And I was like, you wrote that even too? Better. Yeah, yeah that's even better. Yeah, that's the one. That conversation that. happened wow. in the and, interview. And, and mm. what, you, what you get out of that is the destabilization, in my opinion, the greatest destabilization or the destabilizer of in, in communities like ours. No matter who lives there, right? If you got, it took people out of the community. Yes, people should have been held accountable. Even in the in the free Tony Lewis movement, mm -hmm. I never said he wasn't no political prison. I never was like he shouldn't have never went to jail. His yeah. ass should have went yeah. to jail, but just not for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Real, man. And that's real. That's real. I should have went to prison. Like and we I'm mad enough to accept my responsibility. Right. I should have we went to prison, that. but not not, not for, life. for the rest of my nah, life, nah. man. Hell no. Nah. Nah. And you it's know? like it's like one of those situations where you can really do that. It should be a criteria. The other thing is. People should not have to go before these judges. Mm -hmm. And it depending on what side of the bed they woke up on, mm -hmm. your freedom is based on that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That it should be if you did this amount of time, you've shown rehabilitation, um, you should do it. The other part of it though, for for President Biden and, and VP Harris, listen, well, not only should people be reunited with their families, but you guys should um take the steps to make the federal workforce, which I'm a part of, the federal workforce a model for second chance hiring. See, we mm. gotta clear up some of these barriers. My father did 34 years, but there's still places he can't work and can't live. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Right. I mean, so, so you're so, still technically in jail, you know, mm -hmm. in some type of way. Exactly. It's, 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 there's no can't. question about it. Yeah. Yeah. And if he don't got me, right? You know, mm -hmm. to navigate this new world after 34 years, you know what I'm saying? And right. trying to find your way, but I work in that. I deal with guys who don't have a me. Yeah. who don't have stability. They got to release to homeless shelters yeah. and jobs that they qualify for but can't get them after serving their debt to society. Like, mm. we need to really foster a culture of redemption. Um, you know, if we really want public safety, if we really want uh, communities to thrive and things of that nature. Right. And, and, and and I think the, um, this administration should lead uh, with that on both fronts. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and it need to happen, like, now. M Mr. Mm. Lewis Sr., how did you feel watching your son, your namesake, Mm. Be out here fighting for you mm. in that way. That's what kept me going, man. So much pride, so much joy. Uh, I get emotional, man, because it's it's uh, it's hard for me to explain. But me and my son, we talk about it all the time. Mm. So many different experiences. Guys coming into prison. Um, man, your 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 son helped me get a job, but I messed up because I was went back on drugs. But he helped me. Uh, mm. Then at the end. I'm ready to get out next month. Can you can you hook, hook me back up with him? <laughs> I was like, man, I'll give him your name. But he, my son, be remembering these guys, man. And well, I, saw, I read your son's book. It inspired me so much. Mm -hmm. You know, Slug. You know his book, Slug. Uh, 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 just a wonderful uh, uh, life guide. You know, mm -hmm. especially for us. You know, coming up in the same hood and the black community. Uh, 
but just so much inspiration. I'm so proud of him. Mm-hmm. And to top it off, we're getting his dad free because he didn't help to get a lot of other people free. And I was like, mm-hmm. son, where did they go get me? Yeah. yeah. You know, because yeah. a lot of things that he tried to, uh, legislation he tried to get changed or enacted, we was always looking at it, thinking it was going to help us, like drug minus two. Uh, 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 um, yeah. Uh, 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 that was the first thing we said we got denied. I mean, mm-hmm. the, the drugs minus two thing was something was very, uh, right. you know. And we was almost what is drugs sure. minus two? It was the legislation that, well, the Senate Commission mm-hmm. passed uh, an enactment saying that all drugs, you could get, you was eligible for two-point reduction no matter what the drugs was mm-hmm. or what the amount was. And uh, To combat people, the 86 mandatory minimums. Right, right, right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was and something. So, that, yeah, and everybody was benefiting. So we put our motion in and said, Oh, you was fighting for that son. I, the dad should get it. Put the motion in. Judge get it. Mm-hmm. Denied. What? Denied how? Oh, you had too much crack cocaine. Too much. Yeah, I said all drugs minus two, no matter what. But for me, it was always some technicality mm-hmm. that you know, even the first crack cocaine it was two points minus two. That was separate from the two two points minus drugs. But the the crack one, we got denied on that too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So it's been yeah. multiple things that you know, um, and actually on the, like the drugs minus two. Again, you know, shout out, to, you know, the, the pusher. He helped. We did a right. I spoke yeah. about that when I was up here five years ago. But even you know, for context, for a lot of the listen, like like uh, you know, a lot of people heard like uh, Big Meech got a reduction. That's what he got. Yeah, uh, Big Meech got based the two on point the two point reduction. reduction. Gotcha. He and got I'm the like, two point. You know what, what I'm saying? What the, we mm-hmm. so something that we helped push through. Uh, you know, and like Brittany, that. Brittany got the two Brittany, point for him. Brittany was his, Brittany his, his, his that, attorney as well. Wow. Yeah, Big Meech because she hit me and said, uh, yeah, I got Big Meech. Big Meech. I think he got like. Off the two points, maybe seven years off his sentence. Yeah, got that's six so. left. Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah, but they denied me. You know, yeah. so yeah. um, for the same thing, but it was all but the good. judges I had just, the discretion, mm-hmm. and that's the other thing about these these things with the mandatory minimums. The judge ain't had no discretion. If you yeah. met a certain guideline, they had to give you that amount of time. Right. But but now in the thing that was supposed to bring relief. Based on the mandatory minimums, the judge got full discretion. I felt like that was sort of ironic, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if you got like a, a I don't want to use the term left no more because this is getting wild. But if you got a judge that's more for those things, mm-hmm. <laughs> then yeah, you in good shape. But if you got a conservative judge, a hard line, you're like, man, I'm like not trying to hit that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. he's going, nah, he, this wasn't for people like him. Yeah. And the guys that was considered to be leaders. And imagine me as an activist, as, a, as, a, as an advocate. And all of, I'm seeing this happening around me all the time. Everything that I'm helping to push. Yeah. Not, I'm not the sole guy responsible, but I'm, I'm lending mm-hmm. my influence. And I'm my dad ain't, ain't can't benefit from it. Yeah. Right. But I couldn't stop though. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I knew that uh, there's no way my father was gonna die in prison. But we up against the federal government, the mm-hmm. United States government. But I just always felt, and with the push of my, you know, my DC community and abroad. Um, you know, we were able to make this happen. And mm-hmm. I hope this, you know, is hope for yeah. the 10 million children in this country that have had an incarcerated parent, uh, for people that's in prison. But mm-hmm. I think the main thing for me, not to be talking too much, but I think it's so important. That's what you're here for, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah for sure. It's so important <laughs> to note, though, that, um, you know, it's also uh, my dad didn't, my dad had two, uh, in 34 years, only like two infractions. He did things to get better. He did things to help other people inmates he did things to help our community Mm -hmm. so it wasn't just me his Mm -hmm. actions as a man you know what i mean you know could have he could have been you know turned up in there doing all kinds of a lot of there's a lot going on in prison that Mm -hmm. even if you don't want to get turned up it's sometimes you're forced to and being from dc we you know i love my homies but we stay Mm -hmm. in we stay in stuff mm-hmm. in prison, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Baltimore, mess, <laughs> collaborate. Yeah. No, because when I was, used, when I used to be in the prison, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can relate, yeah. you know. But I came home, so so what? yes, for real, you. Was, yeah. Man, don't no, listen. No, 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 Every time I call home, call a friend, like, Tom, what the fuck? Why are they letting mm-hmm. all, all your Cody friends go? Why are you the only one? Yeah, why are you the only one? I'm like, man, oh, I'm fighting. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm the only one. Because well, they look at you as the leader? Yeah. yeah. Kingpin? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. with him, Ray for Edmund. Ray for Edmund, yeah. Was, yeah. But, he, but uh, wow. you know what he did, so he was already set to come home whenever, no matter what. Mm-hmm. But uh, I had to fight. My son had to, if it don't be for my son, 
I'd be still languishing in, in prison. Yeah. You know, yeah. When you watch snow, when you watch the shows like the Snowfalls and the BMF, because I heard you say earlier you don't want to glorify it, but right. how do you tell your story without glorifying? Glorifying. Right. It? right. See, I tell the story, but then even in the middle at the end, I say I'm not glorifying what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and yeah. I'm not. Mm-hmm. But it's the truth. Yeah. I got to tell the truth, mm-hmm. you know, good or bad. But still, I'm not glorifying. If I had to do it all, if I had the opportunity to do it all different, mm-hmm. I would do it different. I wouldn't sell drugs. I wouldn't have broken the law. Yeah. I would have tried to find another way. But, mm-hmm. but I'm going to say that. I'm going to say this, though. When you compare, you know what I'm saying? Like, all them, up, them, them other stories, and I say it's all deference and humility, but all them other stories ain't got to me. Yeah, exactly. that that's, that's the, the difference. difference. Yeah, yeah. like this, this like if this like that's this real. this like uh uh uh, and it's fiction, but I'm saying it's like I'm with I'm with Vito wanting Michael to become mm-hmm. like I'm this the Godfather in real life. This mm-hmm. if I took the family legit, you ain't got this in them other stories. That's mm-hmm. real. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's serious. No and not to mention, you know, I climbed the crooked ladder and sent back down the straight one in, in my city. Um. You know what I'm saying? You be hard pressed to find like this help more people. Yeah. And I'm talking about people from yeah. this circumstance. Mm-hmm. People when people and all through federal prison, DC guys, they when they come home, they say, I gotta see Tony Lewis Jr. I got cause he yeah. gonna help me. Yeah. And that's they, real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the part that sometimes they hound me every day in prison. When, yeah. when every time that somebody get ready to get out six months before, they might ain't said nothing to me the whole time they've been in the unit. Mm. Hey, hey, t- Tony, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you, man. Uh, what what you your son still helping people get them jobs? Mm. I said, Yeah, he's still helping people. He's the, Man, can you hook me? Um, here go my information. Can you? Do I said, I'll see what I can do. But I said, I'm watching your action. I mm-hmm. tell a lot of times mm-hmm. when I see how you move in here, and then you come to me to try to get me to reference you to my son. But yeah. I've been seeing how you've been moving, and if you ain't moving the right way, I'm not doing that. That's mm-hmm. waste my, time. my son's name goes on everything that he does when mm-hmm. when he connected and trying to get people employment or housing or you know or, or, or whatever the case may be. And I'm not putting no bad people when I've been watching you for the mm-hmm. last year or two moving in here the way that you move. No, mm-hmm. I, 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 can't, yeah. I can't do that. I just be in awe of how God works because you, yeah, know, you, no you had an unfortunate circumstance because of some poor yeah. choices, but then that became your your life's work, your yes. purpose. And we always be saying that to each other. It's crazy. crazy. It really is, bro. And, mm-hmm. I, and I'm saying I live, it, it's just so many dynamics. It's like I'm saying, I don't even, Growing up, I, I ain't never moved. I'm on hand. We, you know what I'm saying? I live yeah. on the same block. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to do it from there, that the whole community have watched my journey. I ain't go away to college. I went to college, went to our local university, but I ain't go away to school. Mm-hmm. Everything I did, and I lost so many friends, fam. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the streets to the, you know, di- gun yeah. violence and, 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 and prison and, you know what I'm saying? Overdose. 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 All that. And it still oh, impact my life, but still every yeah. day, you know, still getting up to help my people. And then and we talked about DC's gentrification and the native mm-hmm. Washingtonian. Um, uh, you know, even my me and my homegirl, my partner Angel Gregorio, um, Angel, big uh, Angel. yeah, mm-hmm. man. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we 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 started this whole thing, DC Natives Day, just to force our city to recognize people that grew up yeah. in DC, because mm-hmm. it's like all the energy was focused on all the people moving to the city, you know, right? Um, and we need a part of the, some of the progression, mm-hmm. um, and 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 so with that though, it's like uh, I've realized that has brought me a lot of clarity though. Mm-hmm. That's why them bullets ain't hit me. That's why when my friends went to jail on conspiracies, they ain't grabbed me. You know yeah. that I that was my purpose, and 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 to now have him beside me now, um, you know, uh, I I mean I just I'm so excited about what the future holds for us yeah. Yeah. and our Question. city and our family. You this is I mean? gonna be like the biggest thing for your daughters though. Yeah, mm-hmm. like seeing that they six mm-hmm. and nine. You said. Yeah. Seeing that, you know what I'm saying? Just like their standards are gonna be so high for yeah, these yeah. black men. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like Shit, you could have, like I'm serious, you could have really went another way no question. with this, you know. But yeah. your daughters are gonna always yeah. be a king. Yeah. You're gonna be a king, yeah. you know, to no, them for the rest sure. of their life. For and sure. they got granddaddy back. Yeah, yeah man. Sure. Yeah. 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 Babysitting them, yeah. going to yeah. school with yeah. them, going to gymnastic practice. Mm. Yeah, um, you doing all just that. Just everything, anything <laughs> mm. they want. Pop up here, and um, I'm loving it. Yeah. That's what I dreamt about. Do they, do they provide prison. you with any resources, like mental health resources, yeah. for you know, for you to help to help you adjust? And I'm sure you got PTSD that you're dealing <laughs> with. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I, can, I can imagine. Oh. It's like, you know, I know that the city has those things, um, but you, you got to go and uh, you got to go and try to get them. It's not like how it should be that mm-hmm. the minute you hit, 
that look, yeah. just come on over here. We have access to them. We're going to engage them too. Yeah, we're and again, I've been part of that ecosystem just to, to help build the eco expert. that ecosystem. So we, you know, the program expert. that I, you know, designed it. You know, we had a joint where it's crazy. You know, we ain't got no hat. We, <laughs> we, don't, we already, you know, everybody you do, wherever you break a local law, federal law, you do go to the feds in DC. Mm. But we don't even have a halfway house now. So yeah. our halfway house is actually people Baltimore, go to Baltimore. 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 Yeah. Baltimore. So, yeah. but uh, a program I did out there with Angel. Um, uh, we we actually the, the the bedrock of the program was one on one therapy. Um, that's really you know I want us to do family therapy. We just been running around the last six the first sixty days, but that's definitely a part of it, right? And yeah. I, I salute, I appreciate you know all the push you've been doing yeah, um, no for question. wellness and, and mental health. No you know, as growing up as a kid with an, uh, a mom that dealt with mental health, yeah. Yeah. It. and I'm the only like I said, my only child I went through all that with my mother and to this day, right? I understand the value of that. And to, to destigmatize that for our community is so important to make it accessible and affordable and 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 to make you not crazy. Like we all need, yeah. I tell youngers all the time, if you break your ankle, you be hooping. If you break your ankle, you can just go in the house and just lay on the bed and let that joint heal. Now mm -hmm. you go to the doctor. That's right. Right. So we got to look at mental health in, a, in that yeah. same way. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something that we know is necessary in the yeah. trauma that black men and women all across this country has uh uh, experience via incarceration is something I think that's definitely something that we don't talk about enough. Right. I'm saying that shit real. What's, mm. what's, what's next for y'all, man? And it don't get taken movement. Uh, yeah. Anti incarceration, mm. anti violence movement. Um, don't get taken. Don't get taken. So all mean? the youngers out there, um, exactly that. You mm. know, don't put yourself in a position where you get taken mm. either from the community via mm. criminal justice system mm. or you know, obviously the cemetery. Um, too much violence and carjacking. Got to put the guns down, young mm. people. We got to. We got to put the guns down. Well, Pop, what you always say? You can't tell them the word. Would you? Would you say how yeah, you be putting? You can't. Them? Well, we can't. We can't ask them to put the guns down without picking something up. Yeah, and it got to be a job or training or some type of more opportunity. Um, and I always say this to our good mayor, Mayor Bowser, and the mm. DC City Council. Uh, we need more opportunities. The young people need more opportunities, more jobs, more. More training, uh, if we want to put the guns down. And if down. they've been in trouble, that's the other part, just to the barrier piece. And in, in, in DC and everywhere else, if people made a mistake, they paid their debt, you, we ha we cannot continue to hold them like put that a scarlet letter on them, and they can't engage because then right. the, the cities or the the counties or the towns, whatever, create these quote unquote pathways or these yeah. opportunities. But if you got a criminal record, you can't do it. That's that's that that who you think needed the most. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And right. that that definitely go for a place like Baltimore and New York yeah, and Philadelphia, wilding, Atlanta, yeah. wherever. You know, what I'm saying? everywhere. Mm -hmm. So what am I left to do? Right. And my baby crown on them lights still got to yeah. be on. You know, so yeah, yeah we got to yeah. get people to listen. Hopelessness is probably the most powerful thing there is, mm. right? And so when we start talking about our young people in our in our communities, if I've accepted death and I've accepted that death or incarceration is going to be my fate, and in some in some instances that my glory, you cannot deter me with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You cannot deter me with something I've already accepted is going to happen. Yeah. Right. So what we got to do is young rebuild feel like that. that hope. We like got to, and hopefully this is ho make people feel hopeful. But we got to, we got to create systems that promote hope in these communities. That there is something other than the street. You know what I'm saying? And really, for me, um, I feel like it ain't. You can't aim that at youth. You have to aim that at family because yeah. the adults are destabilized. What you think will happen to the youth? The youth right. Exactly. So any yeah. young and in trouble, look at you and ask who does he belong to? What's the state of that household? Mm -hmm. That's the answers right there. So we yeah. gotta attack that, in my opinion. How do we support the don't get taken movement? Um, right now, man, we we really just trying to brand it. Mm -hmm. Um Put it out in consciousness. Yeah. You know, I got it in slug. Being here today. Being here today. Talking about it. Yeah. Um, we was just talking at about school. it. We was at a school yesterday talking to the alma mater. Yeah, his, Dumbar, his Dumbar alma mater. Yeah. It was amazing. And, and we yeah, are we're establishing and designing and program where we're going to be in community. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're going to be trying to work on a, a PSA that, that uh, that's going to go out on social media. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pushing don't get taken mm -hmm. and hopefully we can you know get partners around it and really build it up to not just a something in dc um but really a national movement you know yeah, yeah. about yeah, for our young people man don't get taken man. yeah any way we can help let us know man definitely yeah. Yeah. i have one last question so i know you say you don't you don't want to ever glorify what you did you know right. what I'm saying? but would you ever do a story mm. if somebody came oh, to you oh and yeah said, look Everybody else got their story. Everybody got, you yeah, know what I'm saying? No question. Yeah, people no know question. you. That's what we want to do. know you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like you said, everybody else's story, is the difference between is there is no you. Exactly. And people don't have a you. So 
would you be oh because this would be the first oh, story no like this yeah. on tv for yeah. Right sure. yeah it's love for right for there sure. I'd be, yeah. I'd um, been, you know for sure thank yeah. you for that i, I hope you'll yeah, be willing to tell that. it though that's the thing yeah. is america do america want to tell a story like this one a story that mm. ends the right way mm. right. of a person that mm. people mm. that did it the right way mm. that's the question and we still fighting for the men that's left behind mm. we right. still fighting the, bl the family yeah, so black listen, family Spielberg you know? Kenya Burris Tyler Perry 50 Cent somebody will do it it ain't gotta be them somebody yeah. will do it yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying yeah. sure it's only yeah, bring up a good here. point that if they do it then they gotta highlight the fact that you out here doing God's work that's right I don't know if they want people everybody want the drama they want all the drama you know yeah yeah, yeah. helping yeah. too many people. Yeah, but like man. you say, just somebody want to do it. Somebody, somebody will do it. And somebody's going to. Yeah. Going to it though. Mm -hmm. cool. That's why I wanted to know. Appreciate y'all for yeah, it. Word, appreciate man. Y'all for man. sure. You get, just going to play one of uh, your, your drug mules or something from back in the day. Oh, <laughs> oh again, this is. We're definitely, <laughs> just I know play, you can play any role. She can girls from Baltimore. That's what I'm saying, man. I know you play any role. Yeah. I know you did. Yeah, she's welcome. Yes. Yes. Hey, Tony. Tony Lewis Jr., Tony Lewis Sr., uh, Tony, man, I've always respected the work you do, and now I'm glad you got your father out here doing it with you, man. Yes, yeah, man. Appreciate we you. appreciate you. It's the Breakfast Club. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.